Ooga booga ooga booga. I need better breath control because I could get like 95% of the last booga out and then it's like. <laughs> Welcome, boogies. We have 51,000 members on the Yo Troublemaker subreddit. And if you recall from the last time I made a subreddit video, that is twice as many people as we had last time. We're growing like crazy. Ranked top 5% in size. Baby, our size is something to be marveled at. Had to get a couple mods. I felt like we never really needed it. We, we self-regulated pretty well. The last month has been crazy because of what we're about to cover. Dylan, once again, is in trouble. It takes a couple videos, but not many, before you realize he's a diet dude bro with rarely anything of substance to say, but plenty of corny jokes. I actually don't like that characterization of me. You can say whatever you want about my personality. Don't call my jokes corny. Like, uh, meat pack. Meat pack? Meat pack! You're gonna call meat pack corny? Clearly you have no taste, no culture. Meat pack. Also, what's a, uh, what's a diet dude bro? No clue. I feel like Diet Do Bro is like a 2014 critique. 2014 slang. Slang terms of 2014, are you in the know? I feel like the best way to, to communicate with Mal, since uh, this person likes to talk in 2014, let's let's converse in 2014. Damn, bae. Um, you really said a bear. I really wish I was more damp, okay? I wanna, I wa I wanna be so damp for you. I want to get so damp. If you could stop chirping though, that would be wonderful. <laughs> you couldn't have picked the worst video to say he has nothing of substance to say. Literally in this video, I have like a whole, I have like a section that's just like a video essay comparing the original to the remake, comparing, contrasting. There's no meat pack jokes. So I can understand your frustration with me. All right, no, 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 here, serious, serious. Can we be serious? Can I be serious? Outside criticism, th like this stuff, oftentimes I deal with it in um, a cheeky way. A cheeky way? Joe's gonna love that one, his British ass. <laughs> the reason being, because it just means so little to me. I'm gonna listen to criticism that comes from within this community, from you guys. Not only will you call me out if uh, if something goes too far, if I make a joke that's a little too, <laughs> little too out there, or if I say something you don't like, typically you'll handle it in a way, or you'll say it in a way that's respectful, and then it's also um, constructive criticism. I value you guys very much, and I want you to be here, and I want you to feel good being here. I'm always gonna listen to your criticisms because you care. And if there's a way that we can improve this community, or if something I could do to improve this community, then at the very least, I'm going to listen to that with an open mind. Criticism that comes from outside, though, from people who are like, hey, I don't really watch your videos. Here's my criticism for you. It just, what? Like, that, that means nothing. Oh, actually, this is, uh, this this tweet is actually responding to this tweet, which is, he has to be the most relentlessly negative and joyless motherfucker walking this earth. <laughs> me? <laughs> How can you call me joyless all day? I'm just thinking meat pack. That brings me so much joy. What are your thoughts? Incoming Ooga Booga video. Am I predictable? Am I predictable? Am I too predictable? I gotta switch it up. Next video is gonna be an off the wall. It's gonna be a prank video. With barely anything of substance to say, what the hell? He says more than any other commentary YouTuber I watch. I think, okay, it's not that they there's no substance. It's just not the substance that they want. Cause I don't really talk about social commentary stuff. I like to immerse myself in the movie world and talk about the movie world and then talk about things relating to the movie. I think that they're looking for social commentary. Uh, not just social commentary, they're specific social commentary. So not only do I have to talk about the things that they want me to talk about, but I also have to make the exact points that they want me to make, otherwise they're upset. Oh God, I just re I just realized I I recorded Barbie. I made a Barbie commentary. Oh, <laughs> you ready to do this all again next month, baby? <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. But I think we got a good thing going and uh, yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna change anything just because some people who already don't like me continue to not like me, you know? And with that, we can put this issue to bed. Guys, Dylan is so famous that someone from Poland is trying to rip off his content. Whoa, as you can see, ripping off my content. <laughs> hey, those thumb that thumbnail format looks pretty similar. How do I feel about this? Is it just, is it just the, is it just titles and thumbnail? I don't think I care. It's literally bar for bar. If it's jokes, if this, if this motherfucker's talking about meat pack on his channel, we got a problem. That's me. That's my, I'm meat pack. Down to the profile picture, it's crazy. Uh, the profile picture. I don't see a profile picture. Updates, I watched a few videos and this guy isn't copying the commentary, it's just the thumbnail. That would be weird if you were doing my exact jokes. I've seen that happen before with uh, like, especially like Mr. Beast videos because he's so popular. People in other countries will just not only take his thumbnails as titles, but they'll just like word for word. Dobra, na jakiś czas odstawiam te filmy takie pełne. This is killing me. Oh, this is the uh... <laughs> so this is my thumbnail, right? And then this is the uh... The imposter something. 
okay, bro. I don't care about the thumbnails and titles because like that, that like helps you get views. Having an appealing thumbnail and title. The color scheming of, of my channel icon has nothing to do with viewership. That's just all just personal interest and personal taste. <laughs> Why did you use the same colors? Oh, no. Like the colors don't even look good together. That's what's funny to me. I always love the, the, just like the baby blue, just bright cyan mixed with the purple. That doesn't even make that much sense. That's what I loved about it. It's distinctive. No one else would ever think to put those colors together. <laughs> I looked into it and he even calls his fans the Polish equivalent to troublemakers. <laughs> you know what? I kind of hope he keeps going with it. You knew what you're doing. You committed. Keep going with it. Keep doing it. And in fact, just start ripping some jokes. Just t start taking some of my jokes. You can not me back. That's mine but all the other ones. And I hope it's not just this person. I hope it's a bunch of people that just are like clones and I like, we just go international that way. Dylan's gonna be so proud. I am in some ways. I got popular enough that someone just wants to be me. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm uploading this shit out of this. I didn't even see it in the next Reddit video. Hey, this guy must have lost his marble. <laughs> Thank God Dylan changed his lighting. Oh God, oh God, look at this photo. <laughs> I was noticing this too when I was editing. The crazy thing is, in both of these photos, I am the same level of tan. I, it's just, the, it's completely lighting. On the bright side to looking like a sheet of paper, my teeth also used to look extremely white. But they were just, they were just like a, a regular shade of, of white. Normal, just normal teeth. But they look so blindingly bright only because everything else about me looked blindingly bright. Now that my lighting is a little bit more of a neutral, my teeth just look like a normal color again. I miss Ghost Dylan. <laughs> We're watching the Twilight video and decided to make a meme. Bella, you're pale, white, and ice cold. You never go out in the sunlight. I know what you are. Edward, say it out loud. Bella, you're Dylan. <laughs> I would say this hurts, but have you ever been called a diet dude, bro? Now that hurts. This is nothing. <laughs> oh God, I hate that haircut. I can't believe. That's like one of my best videos ever. My best performing videos. And I just had the worst haircut. New Muse? Ooh, look at his artwork. Look at his artwork. Good stuff. Although you you made me September. And if I'm correct, September is only a month of 30 days instead of 31. Like you could have you could have chosen October, 31 days. And you would have had an extra special day with me as your calendar. Finding reasons to get upset for no reason at all. Yeah, that's perfect. That's me. Hey, great stuff. This looks good. God, I... I really do bum it. When I'm shooting, I just like to be comfortable. And listen, basketball shorts are so comfortable. Alarm bells are ring a ding a ding a ding ding. <laughs> and again, again, again. Alarm bells are ring a ding a ding a ding ding. Ring a ding a ding a ding ding. That works really well. This isn't a recommendation. That's good, because I don't know what it is. So I wouldn't be able to do it anyways. This video, this video is so good. If you haven't watched this video, it was two videos ago. It was so good. I love the format of scripting this out and then uh, the way Joe edited it as well. Edited it. The way Joe edited it, 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 it was so good. The video, oh my God, I just, it's one of my favorite videos. And I want to explore more in that format with uh, scripting something out. And I think instead of doing like reality TV shows all the time, I might do more reality television shows like this, but I might also just do movies like this or movies that I don't want to make a commentary for. I'll just pre-watch it, write out a script and then shoot it in this format, like a late night Dylan version. I'm really excited about that possibility because I, I just love this video so much. Oh, they're having a field day with this one. Oh, here. I used to love Dylan is in trouble, but after his video on Amber Heard, he never sat right with me. Now this. Now he watches The Little Mermaid? In my defense though, I made some salient points about Amber Heard in my Amber Heard video. Here, let me, let's just watch, let's just watch one thing I said about Amber Heard and then you guys let me know if I'm in the right, okay? Exactly, Dylan. Such a good point. What's that? Oh, you were just looking at a black screen? Oh, oh, well that's probably just because there is no Amber Heard video. It doesn't exist. It's never existed. It never happened. This is another reason why it, it's no use fighting against people that don't like you. Like you could just, you could just make something up as a reason in your head that never happened and be like, that's my reasoning. I don't need any, I don't need anything else. This one was invented by a writer. Dylan needs to see this. Don't get a tattoo, you'll regret it when you're older. Uh, what's the tattoo? Oh my God. 
Oh my god, I'm afraid to look at it. Well, it's not- it's like an infinity sign, but hearts? That's not so bad, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Because whenever someone asks if it has any meaning, I'll get to tell them about you. <laughs> the movie! My favorite fictional couple <laughs> who are toxic as shit. I can't wait to tell people about it. Oh, oh no. I can't believe that era is coming to a close. I'm so excited. The last after movie. And then we're gonna cover it, and then it's done. We get to close that book. Is the book real? No, seriously? Is it actually real? Or is it a joke on new troublemakers to keep us on our toes? Yes, it's real. Of course it's real. God, I shouldn't have talked about it so many years ago. I put pressure on myself, all right? And then I started scrutinizing it, and then I was like, this isn't good enough. I gotta start a new one. And I started a new one, and then I'm like, this isn't good enough. I gotta start a new one. It will, I will, I will have at some point a book. Will you guys be watching in 15 years when it comes? I don't know. Oh, let's end it on this, because this was actually funny. The way we took over the comment section will never not be funny. Honestly, uh, I didn't I didn't think that one through. Because I've never mobilized you guys for any purpose. Uh, at least nothing I can think of. So to see you guys all come to this comment section and then make jokes, and those are all the top comments. Look at the comment section of this video. <laughs> I have top comment, of course. Dan, this song takes me all the way back to my elementary school days. So if you didn't see the original video, I, uh, all the comments, for some reason, were talking about like, this takes me back to my high school days. Someone said to my middle school days. So I just progressively made it worse. And then <laughs> great to see how the troublemakers agree it takes us back to our kindergarten days. Playing on repeat, this song takes me back to my mother's womb. <laughs> takes me all the way back to kindergarten or preschool or even the womb. Takes me back to my days as an unfertilized egg. Just keep pushing it. <laughs> takes me back to my kindergarten. Takes me back to the womb. Kindergarten. kindergarten. Okay, so literally all these comments, every single one is uh, related to my video. Uh, where's the first comment that doesn't have anything to do with my comments? Wait, should we count them? Let's count them, let's count them. I'm gonna count them. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then Ash has to fucking ruin it with his comments a year ago. <laughs> Takes me back to one of my past lives. Hey, you check marks are such buzz kills. Get out of here. Love it, bro. Boring. Oh, and then, okay, so the first comment, it's like 25 comments deep. He is the nicest person you want to meet. My teenage daughter and niece met him at the airport. He was so polite and genuine. He took a picture with them. He gave them a moment they will never forget. Taking a photo with little Huddy is a moment you'll never forget. You must live miserable lives. Jesus, take your kids to Disney World or something. God. Go to the subreddit and uh, post your memes, post your jokes, post your thoughts, post whatever you want. Well, not whatever. Don't post anything weird. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. We, uh, we double the amount of members we have. Okay, goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Pleasure having you.